Everything but marriage, however, is anything but equal. As I stand here today, a bill that would extend marriage to the loving, committed, lesbian and gay couples of my state is being considered by a state legislature. And from what I hear, we are probably about one vote short in the state senate in making this a reality. So to all of my senators who are watching, please stand up, please do the right thing, and please pass marriage equality in Washington State. Now, not all couples want to get married, but two consenting adults in a loving relationship should have the right to be married, regardless of sexual orientation. The denial of marriage withholds not only the personal significance and social recognition that comes with marriage, but it deprives same-sex couples of the critical legal and economic safety that marriage brings. This is about equal protection of the law. This is about civil rights. It's about who we are as a nation and the values that we hold here. Marriage provides couples with thousands of state and federal protections and responsibilities including the ability to include a spouse or spouse's children in one's health insurance policy, to share social security benefits, and to file joint tax returns for shared income and property. Unlike civil unions and domestic partnerships, marriage assures the full measure of protection and respect. Again, equal protection of the law. Everyone knows what it means when you tell them that you're married. My husband and I celebrated our first anniversary in December. Being married is fun. It's awesome. And it's something that every American couple should have the chance to do. And no other legal status provides the full range of the tangible protections and intangible benefits that come with it. The denial of marriage is one of the harshest inequalities inflicted upon lesbian and gay Americans and their families. And it is discrimination that is enacted by our own government. We must put an end to this immediately. Diversity is what gives our cities and country strength and power. And it's time that we truly embrace the full diversity of this nation. By signing on to this pledge and standing here before you today, I am showing my commitment to ensuring that all loving and committed couples can share in the freedom to marry. As the pledge states, I stand for the freedom to marry because it is simply the right thing to do. Marriage is important to gay and lesbian couples as it is to everyone else. Same-sex couples want to get married and make a lifetime commitment to embrace families. I am so proud to stand here with my fellow mayors today, the mayors of our nation's great cities, to fight for the civil rights cause. Thank you very much.